everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I decided to make a video about Venus conjunct Moon in Sinastri. So this is actually a very lovely aspect couple can have and for those who are new here I would like to mention that uh, Sinastri is actually compatibility reading. You know in Sinastri I search day-to-day -day functioning of the couple, you know, it's like the daily interaction. This is uh, what we see in uh, Sinastri in most cases. And uh, when it comes to this particular aspect, conjunction is the strongest, you know. So wherever you have conjunction between you and someone, it really means that this particular aspect will affect your relationship the most okay so uh, when you happen to have this conjunction you are actually a lucky one it really means that your venus or your moon and their venus or moon is in the same sign you know typically if we are talking about a uh, conjunction in the same sign and not out of the sign conjunction this is uh, something really beautiful and uh, i could even say rare you know it is not so common oh uh, let's say in my practice it is not common even even i don't have many experiences with this one in my life but uh, if you have this one you know there will be that effect of harmony, easiness, and moon person can definitely feel like Venus person will make their dreams come true, okay? Because, you know, we all want uh, to feel heard and loud on a deep level. And this is what happens with this conjunction because what moon really represents uh, in uh, our chart are our deepest uh, desires feelings you know moon is really our home moon uh, is uh, that planet in 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 us uh, we don't want to share with the most people so if someone's venus is affecting our moon in positive way Chances are that moon person will fall in love with Venus very quickly, you know, because Venus has what moon person needs. Okay, so moon person feels that, um, you know, moon, moon person feels that um, their needs are being met in this relationship. And as it is Venus, then moon's person's needs are being met in very nice and loving way okay so i mean come on what can we ask for more you know this is very lovely it, it is definitely lovely aspect and remember the tighter the conjunction you will feel it like more okay um so this is really uh, lovely and what i have also noticed is that there is a lot of love between the couple even sometimes we can say unconditional love but definitely uh, this couple they are able to forgive each other easily because somehow they are in sync you know they are pretty much aligned emotionally and you know um in, in love area there are definitely similarities and they both enjoy this interaction if you wonder if venus person feels the effect uh, i would say yes because it's like uh it's like um, venus person is still person of planet so venus person will feel like um, there is that emotional uh, availability from moon person venus person will feel like moon person is somehow somehow really uh, that moon person is somehow still there and they have a lot uh, to talk about when it comes to sinastri houses overlay um and you know let's talk about moon person uh let's say moon person has their moon in i don't know first house then of course uh, venus 
you know, their partners, Venus, will come to the first house as well. So, so there's that mirroring happening in a good way because it's conjunction. So, so it's like, uh, you know, if you are a moon person, then, and you have moon in, I don't know, I have in sixth house, then uh, their Venus will be in your sixth house. So it will create even a lot of support in the house where this planet is, you know, in your birth chart, either it's moon or Venus. It doesn't matter because, because uh, in this case, we are talking about a personal planet. So it really means that both people are equally affected. So I wonder what are your experiences uh, with this aspect? Um, because, you know, at times I am receiving questions like, um, if uh, it is uh, if there is a chance to overcome some more difficult and harsh aspect just by having uh, let's say this one right because this aspect is very harmonious you know of course um if you have you know different things going on and let's say if you have um, more difficult aspects going on you will definitely um, you will definitely still feel like there is there are some struggles right so so difficult contacts so will not disappear right just by having venus conjunct moon but you know venus conjunct moon it's more about tolerance you know yeah this is definitely aspect of tolerance so two people equally are able to forgive each other and really even tolerate their differences so in my opinion this aspect will help you to see the good in other person and um, that's why uh, they can be let's say um, less competitive in a relationship you know because this is not ego aspect this is all about uh, receiving you know, unconditional love and feeling good with each other and wish uh, the other person the best. So this was my analysis of this aspect. Let me know what you think. If you have this one, please uh, type in the comments, you know, if you have any suggestions about my future videos, I'm very curious to know. So please type it in. And, uh, you know, at the end of this video, I would like to also tell you that you can book a reading with me. It it is really very simple. Uh, you can definitely check the description below this video how you can order the reading because I offer, you know, um, all types of horoscopes like personality horoscope, um, relationship horoscope, obviously, also future horoscope, uh, career and money horoscope, child horoscope, love horoscope for singles. You know, I can predict your love life in case you are single, etc. So uh, for more information, definitely check my website horoscopesandreadings.com. I am also a tarot reader, so I can read your, you know, fate in the cards. Mm, but uh, the bottom line is that if you want to order horoscope, um, you can definitely ask me your own questions, okay? So we don't have to limit your reading, only, you know, just label it. Uh, there's the distinct distinction, you know, in my horoscopes just to make it easier for you. So you can pick the right horoscope, but you can definitely, you know, just pay for the horoscope and ask me whatever you want, want me to, because, you know, astrology can definitely give you honest and very, very much like, um, you know, straightforward answers. That's why I always like uh, when my clients ask me very specific questions because, yeah, uh, then I can answer also very specifically and I like it. So I also have two courses. One is Advanced Synastry and, Her and Composite Chart course. And another another one is Lilith uh, Synastry uh, course. So both courses are mainly focused on the relationships. Okay, guys. So that's all I have for you for today. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you like it here, please give me thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. So 
uh, I'm motivated to make more videos for you and I wish you a very nice day. Bye bye.